we're going to talk about positioning a patient who's had a stroke. Um, so this patient has had a right CPA, um, left hemiplegia noted, and as you can see, she's ill positioned in the bed. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get her in a place where her body systems are working properly. Um, the first thing you want to think about is approaching the patient on her affected side um, and talking to her and telling her what you're going to do. Okay, so we're trying to promote some, some attention to the affected side. So good morning, Ms. Amy. I'm Jennifer, the occupational therapist. How are you feeling today? Good. How are you? I'm good. You're looking a little wonky in this bed. I'm going to get you situated, okay? Okay. All right. So since this patient has had a stroke, we uh, can go ahead and assume that she may have some swallowing issues. So we're gonna make sure that the head of bed is to 30 degrees before we leave. And we're also gonna make sure her call button or anything that she uh, needs is on her unaffected side, okay? So first things first, Miss Amy, I'm gonna get you kind of situ this arm kind of situated over here. And I'm going to scoot you on your pillow. Okay, uh, I may even raise you to the head of the bed. Okay, so I'm going to use the chuck and I'm just going to pull the patient to the head of the bed. And I'm using proper body mechanics here. I'm not pulling with my back, I'm pulling with my legs and my arms. Okay, so I'm standing now that I've gotten you to the head of the bed, I'm going to position your um, left arm. Don't say weak, don't say hurt, don't say bad. Uh, I'm gonna position your left arm on this pillow, okay? That way you can have some drink, lymphatic drainage, okay? We don't want this hand getting swollen, okay? okay? So we don't want it to hang down. And I'm gonna talk to your family and your nursing staff about that, okay? Okay. We're also gonna turn your hips. So, there we go. So we've got her hips and her pelvis square. We've got her effective extremity elevated. And then we're also gonna place, because this lower extremity is affected, we're also gonna place a pillow under this extremity to float the heel. Now, the reason why we do that is because this extremity is gravity dependent. So we don't want her heel rubbing against the bed constantly, okay? Anytime she moves the rest of her body, we want that heel to have some space under it so that we don't get a wink, okay? So then we're gonna elevate the bed, the bed to 30 degrees. And I like to do the knees up a little bit too so that they don't immediately slide back down. All right, Miss Amy. And then we're going to ask the patient if they're comfortable. So how does that feel? Is that any better? Good. Okay. All right. So I'm going to talk to your family about positioning you this way just for safety and so that all the parts of your body are going to work properly when we, when we decide to get out of this bed. That'd be good. All right. Thank you.